Share you heavy bombers. Score natin, 31-25. Mga kapamilya, kitang-kita natin last season kung gaano kapait ang luhang iniyak ng altas nang hindi sila makaabot sa Final Four. Kaya sigurado ko, this season, lahat ng i-reserve nila, ilalabas na nila. Panoorin natin ang kalang team practice. Isang bagong simula para sa Perpetual Altas ang Season 92 ng NCAA. Una na dito ang bagong head coach na si Jimwell Gikan at kasama din sa coaching staff ang former Altas player na si Nick Omorokme. We basically work on everything but we spend more time working on our defense. Yeah, there's a lot of improvement because right now we have a lot of guys who've really stepped up. Everybody can play so which is pretty good. Pero po pa nalilit is yung teamwork na talaga eh. Yung... Work as a team. Yan ang pinaka-importante niyan, hindi yung one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So, you have to work as a team. And also, siyempre, yun ang goal namin talaga makapasok sa Final Four. At sa pagkawala ng go-to guy na si Scotty Thompson, abangan ang pag-usbong ng mga bagong bida ng Altas. Ilagan, pamatay sunog. Jack Tagangon, ilista mo na. Ang veteran forward na si Gab Dagang at ang senior na si GJ Ilaga. Next step up kami, tinutulungan namin yung mga bago ngayon, yung mga rookies, parang ginaguide namin sila. Tapos yung, yun nga, yung defense namin, yun yung pinaka-importante sa amin. Kailangan aggressive ka sa loob. Pag di ka nagtrabaho, labas ka. Nag-adjust kami kasi, yun nga, wala kami katulad ni Scott Thompson. Kaya inano namin yung teamwork namin. Mas physical at mature na bright akweti ang mararamdaman. Nagpababa pa ng timbang ang big man ng perps para lalong bumilis. It's, it's planned. I plan to lose weight so I can faster, weaker, and I have a liquid perform. Hindi nawawala ang determinasyon ng mga taga Las Piñas na muling makabalik sa Final Four at teamwork ang magiging susi nila para sa tagumpay. Siyempre kami lahat magtatrabaho talaga kung gusto namin makabalik sa Final Four. Yeah, this time around, we try to get everybody involved. Anybody can be the man. Back to the Phil Oil Flying V Center at the half ng labanan sa pagitan ng Jerry Heavy Bombers at ng University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas ay naibaba na ng Jerry ang kalamangan ng Perpetual Health sa anim with a 10 to nothing run to end the half sa tulong ni Tate Teodoro. All those 10 points galing kay Tate Teodoro. Magandang hapon Pilipinas para po sa ABS-CBN Sports sa NSA Season 92. Andre Felix kasama si Coach Olsen Rara Rasela. Coach Teodoro to end siya lang lahat yun. 10 points para maibaba. Lumama ka perpetual help as big as 16 but now it's been down to 6. Well, 10 to 0. Nothing run ng mm -hmm. uh, JRU in the last uh, in the latter part of the second quarter pero really scoring ang naging problema ng JRU kaya lumamang 
uh, itong uh, Altas by as much as 16 points in the middle of uh, the first half. Tingnan natin ang uh, three-point field goals sa at the half. Oh, ito. Kung makikita natin uh, the three-point field goals for uh, the Altas, uh, three of eight and uh, zero of six for uh, JRU. Not sure if uh, we have the right uh, stats there, but uh, apat nga sa three point, uh, apat na three points mm. na ang nakana nitong si uh, Tay Tudoro. Ah. Four three point uh, shots uh, totas. Lahat ng uh, three point baskets actually ng JRU ay galing dito kay Tay Tay Tudoro. We have to correct that. Yung lumabas sa ating screen, JRU po ay four of ten mula sa labas. All coming from Tay Tay Tudoro. Para naman sa uh, University of Perpetual Health System Delta, they were two of twelve from beyond the arc and those two three-pointers ay galing naman kay Gab Dagangon. Yes, but wala, like we said, aside from uh, Tete Tudor, eh walang tumulong dito sa JRU. Uh, Tete Tudor already with uh, 19 points in this game. Pero sumunod na sa kanya, si Gio Laschetti na may 3 puntos, Evardo na may 2, two points, and De La Paz with 1. Oh, there was actually 1 point in the second quarter na 1 point lang ang uh, na-shoot pa lang nitong JRU and that was the time na nagpahinga ito si Tete Tudor. Pero nung bumalik siya, uh, like you said, 10 to 0 Run. All points coming from Tete Tudoro in the second quarter. May kita na natin ang ating leading scorers. Para naman sa University of Perpetual Health, Sampu para kay Dizon, Akweti with 9 off the bench, and Gab Dagangon with those two threes with 6 points. Ayan, kung nakita natin, only Lasquete and Evardo uh, ang nakatulong dito kay uh, Tete Tudoro. So expect the others to help specifically Ito si Paolo Pontejos na so far in this game, eh, hindi pa nakakasyo. In the last game, in their first game, kalaban ng Mapua Institute of Technology, this is is ang puntos na kinamada ni Paolo Pontejos. But here in this game, he is scoreless. Si Paolo Pontejos in six minutes, there is that man who had a hot hand in the first half. And Coach Verhel is also on your screens. And I think this is the opportunity of the others really to step up. Like we said, 19 points as si Tete Tudoro. He's going to be a marked man in this uh, second half. Kaya yung iba eh, dapat ready to shoot na ang kanyang mga teammates. Tudoro gets the offensive rebound. Delavir hand to Abdul Wahab. Tudoro, patuloy ba siyang magiinit? He hits nothing but air there. It's Dagangon, Dizon, Akweti, Singon Tico, and Keith Pido. Ang lima na sinimulan ni Coach Jimwell Gikan, Singon Tico, ay tatawagan ng... Oh, it's Gap Dagangon ang tinawagan ng personal foul. So see this uh, illegal pick by... Uh, I think it's Singon Tico ang tinawagan ng oh, illegal pick. Pero kanina pa natin nakikita yan, Dre. Yung mga illegal picks na kikita on both sides, ha? Isang minuto na, nakalipas dito sa ating third quarter. Both teams still haven't scored. Parang nung first quarter lamang, ang tagal bago makapuntos ng either team. Dagangon against De La Virgen. Dagangon. Tapikan ng bola, makukuha ni Gio Laschetti. MJ De La Virgen playing the point guard position in the backcourt. He is joined by Tete Todoro. Jordan De La Paz is also with the five on the floor for Coach Vergel Meneses. De La Virgen trying to sh shake off his man to spin. De La Paz from the outside. Yes, para sa tres. At kailangan i-credit natin to si De La Virgen for giving that assist pass. A dribble penetration coming off that uh, ball screen. Kaya naiwan to si De La Paz sa uh, three-point area. Shift in the defense para sa JRU. They go to the man-to-man -man from implementing that zone defense earlier in the latter part of the first half. Singon Tico, nakahanap ng puwang to Akweti, nabitawan ng bola. JRU with a little bit of momentum being down as much as 16 in the first half na ibaba na sa tatlo ngayon Chodoro 
tumuloy-tuloy si Tay Tay to Abdul Wahab na paganda pa oo oh, dahil tumulong si Bright Akweti dun sa penetration yan ang sinasabi natin every time there's penetration on the defensive end eh talaga may hirapan ka it, it gives a lot of uh, options for the offense katulad na nangyari doon uh, easy two points for Abdul Wahab isang punta na lang ang inahabol ng Jerry Dagangon will fire away from the corner for three no go Dizon Gerald Dizon he had he had the hot hand in the first half for perpetual help 10 points to be exact Akweti being aggressive with a reverse, but no, was blocked by Abdul Wahab. And th there's that uh, defensive presence to see Abdul Wahab blocking that shot of Akweti. Chodoro fires from way out. Dizon on the attack yeah. all the way. He now has 12. Oh, oh laking tulong itong Dizon sa perpetual ngayon, ano? 12 points for this young man helping out with si Bryka Kweti lalo na sa scoring Gerald Dizon 6 of 11 sa field goals in 17 minutes of play 12 puntos ang kinakamada ni Gerald Dizon Oh, nice oh, running hook oh, from Abdul Wahab. A little bit from our books. Oh, I don't know. Pero mukhang talagang uh, na-improve niya. At really, he, I think he really worked on that during the off-season. Ano? Nakita natin to start the game, eh, may post-move doon siyang ginawa. Ang ganda ng ikot niya kanina. Right now, running hook. Gabdagangon, that's his first two points. Because earlier, his uh, six points came from the outside line. Three-point line, to be exact. Dagango now has eight. Thirty-five to thirty-two. Aquetti on a switch against a smaller De La Virgen. Lasketti from the corner, in and out. Dagango with a rebound there. That's Gab Dagango's fourth rebound. JRU is getting good looks at the basket and perimeter shots. They're not just uh, just not falling in for them. Keith Pido had to give up the ball last second because he was challenged by Abdul Wahab. Kicking ang itatawag doon, Tete Chudoro with the ball hitting his foot. Time out ang itatawag ng perpetual help. Kami po yung magbabalik. Pero ngayon naman, sabi niya, mas okay na pala ang malakas. Ang kapabata niya na si Scotty Thompson na nagpadala sa kanya ng Facebook message bago magsimula ang season. Sabi, maganda ang statistics mo sa pre-season kaso wala kang assist. Sa game na ito, wala pa rin assist si Gap, pero maganda rin ang pinapakita. Tingnan natin kung magagawa niya yan ang paraan. Andre, Coach Olsen? Thank you, Sis. Dagangon, ginawa niya ng paraan last game despite that losing effort, 17 points in 26 minutes. Oh, pero last game, this is Dagangon with 15 big rebounds. And for a guard, that's really big, ha? Huh? Malaking tulong yan dahil kagaya na sinabi natin, ang nawawala ng, uh, sa pagkawala ni uh, Scotty Thompson, eh. Sa rebounds, he, si Scotty so Thompson is uh, second best in the team. Malaking tulong yung uh, 15 rebounds na last game ito si Gab Dagangon. MJ delivery hand hit the three earlier. Dagangon. Mintish Shadon. Offensive rebound. Para sa perpetual help. Fresh 14. Oh, and a stops it down there. There it is. Yung unang dunk na inaantay natin mula kay Bright Akweti. Narinig kaya, Dadre, nung kanina sinasabi mong parang hindi makadunk to si Akweti. Yan, pinakitaan na tayo tuloy. Delaverhen, binabantayan na ni Siguntiko ngayon dahil naka 3-pointer kanina si MJ Delaverhen turn over para sa JRU that is JRU's 14th turnover in this game Siguntiko medyo boba ang kumpiyansa after taking some shots earlier in the first half pero di tumatama si Siguntiko is 0-4 
Tingnan natin itong tres ni MJ Deliverian. So, finally, Coach Olsen, ito yung, baka ito yung tulong na kailangan ng Jerry yun eh. You know, someone aside from Tate Tidoro hitting that outside shot and then Aqueti with that reverse slam. Oh, actually, dito sa panimula na ating third quarter eh, yung mga teammates si Tate Tidoro ang tumutulong sa kanya. Kaya ito, dumikit na sila. Kanina, natay pa nila yung ball game at 35. Yun nga yung pang uh, limang deadlock natin kanina when the score was tied at 35 all. Pero naputokan ng shot clock itong University of Perpetual Health and Coach Jim Olgikan fuming on the sidelines. That's just the 11th turnover of the Altas. Rospe the kick out. Repost. Rospe with a hook. Dizon gets the ball for perpetual help. Guarded there by Laschetti, Ilagan. Telling his teammates what to do. They go down low. The double by Gorospe. Traveling. Ay, tatawag. Dito kay Mr. Brightside, Bright Aquedi. Good collapsing defense. Itong uh, JRU against that uh, offense by uh, perpetual. Timeout on the floor. 37-35 in favor of the Altas. Again to all our viewers worldwide via TFC and TFC.tv. We're streaming live at sports.abs-cbn slash livestream slash NCAA. Ito yung mga nakangiting mas dyan. And of course, again, the, one of the daughters, beautiful daughters of Coach Verel Meneses, Miss Veronica Meneses on your screens. Yung isa nakangiti, yung isa nakasimangot pero mumiti na din nung nalaman niyang nasa camera siya Laschetti nice drop pass inside ganda naman ng pasa ni Laschetti sinubo na lamang ni Grosby sa loob no, like we said yung scoring slowly picking up especially dun sa mga uh, ibang players ng uh, JRU uh, right si uh, lahat talaga ngayon tumutulong dito kay Tate Tudoro Dizon to Eze, that perimeter, J And Eze really has improved. He has six points. That's his first to uh, his first field goal since the first quarter. So it's been a back and forth affair. Pagkatapos lumamang ng DC sa ice ang Perpetual Health kanina. Ito po ang ating mga tweets. Basahin natin ang tweet ni Justa Den. Ang inaabang ako sa NCAA Season 92. Ang makapasok ang Altas sa Final Four. Huwego Altas, go for the win. NCAA schools, may nakahabol ang Bombers, go laban lang. Sabi naman ni Rachel De Los Reyes. At idol daw ni Denise, si Tete Teodoro. Mabuhay Rizal. Keep on sending your tweets using the hashtag NCAA Season 92. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Eze, isang jumper pa daw. That time he misses. He has 2 of 5 from the field. Dul Wahab was able to cross the timeline. Chodoro with a minute and 20. He has the ball in his hands. After scoring 19, he, he has scored this now here in the third period. Lucitate Chodoro had the right idea on that draft pass. Pero masyadong malakas yun para kay Abdul Wahab. Chodoro, after having that scorching hot first half, hasn't scored here in the third period. Isang minuto lang lamang ang nalalabi. Singon Tico still refuses to pull the trigger. Chodoro, make that Monteos will come in the next dead ball situation. And Ilagan knocks it down for three. Lista mo na ang unang tres puntos niya. Yes, a well-run play by the Altas ending up with the Ilagan wide open for the three-point shot. So five point lead, but Laschetti cuts it down back to three. Good cut by Gio Laschetti. Oh, gumanti naman itong uh, JRU. Give and go for the JRU Bombers. 30 seconds, ang nalalabi. Ating third period. Digita ng ating labanan. We've had six deadlocks. Singon Tico, still gun shy. Dizon is not gun shy at all. Too strong, and the rebound, and there will be a loose ball foul. 
called by referee Glenn Cornelio. They are changing up their defense, going to that zone defense at uh, medyo nawala ang altas dun sa possession na yun. Take a look at another three there by J.G. Lagan. And then that give and go, like what you mentioned, Coach Olsen. And the basket by J.R.U. Paolo Ponteos is back in. Pinahinga muna si Coach Vergel, si Tete Chodoro. De La Paz. Four to shoot. De La Paz fires away to end the third period. At the end of the third, 42. Third, the score is 42 to 39. Pagkatapos ng sampung minuto sa ating pangatlong yugto ng ating laro, JRU outscoring perpetual help 14 to 11 in that period. Yes, JRU is still down, but Coach Verrell is liking what he's seeing right now. All the other players, all all players, uh, scoring for uh, JRU uh, without uh, the help of uh, Tete Tudoro to si Puntejos will come off the bench pa para sa kanila. Fourth and final quarter coming up after the break. To watch the latest game highlights. Subscribe to ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.